Hello and welcome to this MGO2 PC tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install and play MGO2 PC. Please ensure you read the description of this video before you start the process, as I will be including information which may be relevant to you such as the specifications required to play the game or a configuration to get the game working on AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. If you have any issues running the game then I advise visiting the MGO2 PC Discord. However, I will be providing a video which will run through the setting changes that should be considered. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Step 1 is downloading all the files required. In the description of the video, I have provided links to download the game including the link in the video. Please proceed and download as I do. Step 2 is visiting the mgo2pc.com's website to register and play the game. As you can see, I'm completing a username, an email, and a password for the purposes of this video. And then selecting I'm not a robot and creating an account. Once done, you should receive an email as I do here. Activate your account. As you see at the top right, I have an indication that my account is now activated. So that's complete. Step three is downloading WinRAR. Now you'll need WinRAR to extract the files that we downloaded at the start of the video. So as you can see, I've just searched download WinRAR. It's the top link. It'll also be in the description of the video. Click download WinRAR. Download WinRAR again. Now I've um, saved it into my downloads folder. Once you've saved it down, just go to wherever that download location is, open the executable file, install in your desired location, press OK. You've now downloaded WinRAR and now can extract the files later in this video. OK, so I've downloaded the all you need.rar file from the start of the video. So now I'm going to right click, press cut, go to my desktop, right click, paste, right click, extract here. And then just wait a while for that to be done. OK, the file extraction is now complete. Open all you need folder and then the RPCS3 MU folder and then open the application executable file for RPCS3. I'm now going to set up my controller by selecting pads. Here you'll find a whole host of handlers, as you can see here, X input, DualShock 3, DualShock 4. X input being Xbox controllers. Here at the bottom right, you can see that I'm testing my analog sticks to show that the controller works. And then at the bottom left, I press my triggers to show that my triggers work. Once done, you just press save. Now I'm going to show you how to boot the game. So right click and press boot with custom configuration. This will launch what we call the launcher, which updates the game, finds any missing files, make sure the game integrity is okay. Just follow the instructions of the launcher every time it loads. If there's ever a large update and you find that the launch takes a really long time, I'll also link in the description of a video, a tutorial for an update that may be quicker for you where you download the files and manually replace them yourselves. If everything's worked correctly, you should reach the start screen. Just press the start button. If this isn't the case, you may just have to close the emulator, reload the game. It might work a second or third time. Agree to the agreement here. Enter your game ID and login. So I'm going to go with Unicorn Rainbow, which is what I used on the registration at the start of the video. I'm going to put in a password. If you see the third section where it says save, don't remember this ID. You can actually change that so it does remember the ID and password in future, so you don't have to retype this in future logins. Okay, so I've now done this, so press OK. Your firewall may want to intervene. Just allow access to RPCS3 and you should be fine. Okay, so click start game. Register a new character, select a sex, a name, then press next. Select your face and voice. I've just skipped through this process to make things easier for you. Here, it doesn't matter what clothes you select because you don't get the full array of clothing options until you've created a character like I just have. Okay, so my character is created. I've then selected the skills I want. So I've selected Assault Rifle 2 and Runner 2 which is kind of the mainstream set of skills that most players use in this game. If you go to personal data appearance settings like I just have, you'll have the full choice of clothing. However, you can find additional clothing on mgo2pc.com's reward shop when logged in. Okay, I've now completed character customization. 
That concludes this MGL2 PC tutorial. Please do not forget to join the MGL2 PC Discord and read the video description. See you on the battlefield.